Hallelujah, somebody. It's nice to be back again after a while. I know it's been a minute, somebody. You know, I was celebrating something beautiful, something that was not expected in my nation Zimbabwe to happen. But because God was there, it so happened. Hallelujah, somebody. I just want to wish somebody a happy Easter. I know everybody's celebrating Easter. The story behind Easter is all about the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, somebody. When I look, can you shut up for a minute? I need to preach the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. When Jesus was crucified and when he died, nobody expected him to arise Nobody expected that he was going to wake up. People had already ruled him out. People crucified him for no reason. People blamed him for things he never did. They just wanted him to die and never come back. They hated Jesus for being a good person. They hated Jesus for being a prayerful person. They hated Jesus for his beliefs and they crucified him. Mm. Hallelujah, somebody. As we are going with the story, somebody, I want you, I want you to get this, the lesson behind this. I know there is somebody right now who is in a situation who thinks the situation is dead. The situation cannot be resurrected. The situation has come to a point where you say, no, this is it. This is done. But let me tell you something. That moment when you think your situation is dead, just like when they thought Jesus was dead and was in the grave for the longest time, Jesus rose again. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say your situation is going to rise. No matter how people attack you, no matter how people rule you out, no matter how people hate you, no matter how people say, oh, she's not worthy to be this or he's not worthy to be that or this situation, you will never come out of it. You will come out of it and your situation is going to rise. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm. Nobody expected it. Even when he rose, still people did not believe it. Same applies with you and your situation. Some people are still talking about the situation that rose a long time ago. Ah, hallelujah, somebody. They will still say, oh, no, you know this and you know that. When you are already gone, never worry about it. The solution is going to be solved. Hallelujah, somebody. The situation is going to rise. No matter how rotten it, it seems like. No matter how bad it looks like, no matter, no matter how it is like, it is going to rise. Never lose your hope. Never lose your faith. Never lose your belief because somebody is telling you, no, it's not going to happen. Hallelujah, somebody. So if you are celebrating this Easter, I want you to think about Jesus. I want you to think about the situation he was in when people were crucifying him. When they are crucifying you, I want you to take yourself and put yourself in Jesus' shoes. When they were saying bad things about him, when they were blaming him, when they were doing all sorts of things. It's the same with you. Sometimes you just wonder, why am I being blamed for things I don't know? Why am I being blamed for things I did not do? It's because the devil knows the power that you possess. The devil does not fight a nobody. The devil does not challenge a nobody. The devil does not want to kill a nobody. The devil knows that your destination is destined for greater heights. Therefore, don't lose hope. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, am I talking to somebody right here? No, 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 no. When you see people celebrating... When you see, see people celebrating your downfall, the devil has already initiated those people in his kingdom. He wants you because he knows how powerful you are. He wants to finish you because he knows if you continue, you are going to rise generations. You are going to uplift your family. You are going to heal people. You are going to preach the word of God. You are going to get people to Christ. And the devil does not like that. Do not give up. 
Do not give up on your beliefs. Do not give up on your faith. Do not rule out your situation. When your situation ends, that's when God is going to resurrect your situation. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm not going to say much because I know a lot of you are celebrating Easter. I just want to say, keep praying. Don't worry about it. If they have a problem with you, it's not your problem. It's their problem. They know what you carry is bigger than what they have. They want to have what you have, but they can't have it. Keep believing. Happy Easter. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah.